and that's why you don't buy demo bikes. Oh shit! <clears throat> Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. This is Dan with Gears and Gadgets. Today we are going over to Harley Davidson of Scottsdale. If you're new to this channel, you'll know that I just recently bought this 2018 Harley Davidson Heritage 114. I've put about 5,000 miles on it over the course of well, about the last five months. I'm interested now that I have some experience under my belt uh, riding on this bike, which I absolutely love, to see what these new 2019 models have to offer. So not only uh, what's new for 2019, but just the platforms in general. And uh, we'll see uh, you know, what the difference is and kind of reconfirm whether or not I think I made the right choice in my bike. Today, we are going to be throwing our leg over the 2019 CVO Street Glide, uh, a bike that is priced a little bit out of my range. And by a little bit, I mean by a lot bit. So new for the 2019s, uh, there's quite a bit of changes on these touring bikes. The first change is the most significant, in my opinion, is this Boombox GTS. It is a huge, huge evolutionary step for Harley-Davidson. Uh, I always thought that their uh, previous entertainment systems were pretty pretty poor in my opinion, especially with how much money you're spending on these bikes. Uh, you know, they're, the, the, the entertainment system is pretty important. You know, you also get on these CVOs, automatic locking for the, uh, the, the saddlebags. Uh, you know, the gauge cluster is all blacked out. You know, you get this really nice blacked out uh, center trim, which is, is really great. Uh, you just get a lot with these CVOs. You know, the one thing I'm going to say, and it drives me nuts when I watch people review these street glides uh, mainly, is the uh, is the uh, the vents. I see people riding with that vent up like that, which is in the closed position, and then they complain about helmet buffeting. And the whole time I'm watching those videos, I'm just like screaming, I'm like, close the fucking vent. It, it drives me absolutely batty. So if you close this vent, that vent is not meant for comfort ventilation. It's meant for uh, wind equalization. So the entire thought process behind that is just to, to eliminate the buffeting on your helmet. And the reason why you can close that is, well, for things like, rain so if it's raining you're not you know like taking rain into uh into your face basically so uh again it's not there for uh temperature comfort you know for riding on hot days it's only there for uh you know uh, helmet buffeting Man, this 117 is is something special. So this CVO Street Glide is it's a liquid cooled 117. My bike is a 114. So this being a heavier bike, you know you want that power. And I can tell you that right away, this 117 on a heavier bike is is really something great. I mean the 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 smoothness of the torque band is is what's most noticeable to me right now. So. Uh, the other things you get with the CVOs is you get these leg guards, uh, which basically just help keep the wind off your legs. And I can tell you right now, it's 50 degrees outside, and I can uh, tell you that I am appreciating that. Now the hem helmet buffeting here at 60 miles an hour is non-existent, and that is because of this wind vent, which was a Rushmore thing. They've been around since 2014, but uh, I can tell you that if I had 40 grand to burn, uh, this CVO would be uh, where that money would be spent. I am very, very pleasantly surprised with how this bike is weighted as well. Uh, so they tell you that these, you know, Harleys are, they're incredibly heavy, which, you know, they are, but it's how they do the weight with them. And what I can tell you is that this weight center of gravity is really, really low. So I don't feel top heavy on this bike at all. Um, it's actually surprising. Yeah, it's 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 got some power to it. You know, it's also impressive to me that I don't know how the hell they do it, but with a full face helmet, I can listen to the music on this bike and hear it clearly through my helmet. 
which is just a, kind of a testament to how good they are as far as uh, their speakers and stuff go. The CVO also has upgraded speakers, which is a big difference, but you know, I can tell you that, again, if I had the money to burn, this is the bike that I would buy. No doubt, no question about it. This is the bike uh, for me. Uh, unfortunately, I can't convince the wife at uh, 2,900 subscribers that this is the bike for me. So keep subscribing to the channel. Hit that like button. It goes a long way to eventually let me get a CVO Street Glide. Man, this thing is just, it's, it's sharp. Riding position is great. I like the fact that this works with gloves as well. That's uh, really a good addition. They have the cell phone holder. I do wish they would start making that cell phone holder a little bit bigger. The hydraulic clutch is incredibly smooth. The gear shifts are also uh, just, you know, real uh, affirmative. You know, you know when you click that gear in, uh, you know, you know it. And uh, it's just a, a really good positive riding experience, in my opinion. And just, you know, the flickability of these big bikes, it, it just really blows my mind how they're capable of, of making such a big, bulky touring bike feel so sporty at the same time. And I'm not saying that for any other reason than it's just, it's, it's true. I mean, they... The bars are just really incredible, uh, I, in my opinion. A lot of guys will say the Road Glide is the way to go because it has the frame-mounted fairing. Uh, you know, I have not experienced that yet, but I will hope to hop on one uh, today to test that theory out as far as how the uh, steering feels on those bikes. Uh, but uh, again, I just happen to like the styling on these things more. And again, this inner fairing layout is great. One of my recent videos uh, actually had uh, mentioned the uh, Indian Chieftain, which the inner fairing to me looks like uh, Johnny Five from Short Circuit. I, I just think that the uh, Street Glide layout is, is just, it's really functional and I like where all the gauges are. I like the information they provide. Now you also get these heated grips with the CVOs, which I've never really experienced, but I just turned it on now. And uh, one thing I'll say is anything under 50, well, 55 degrees in the morning, your hands start to get real chilly at speed. And that's what I've experienced. So I actually went out and bought an $80 pair of Harley gloves, which work really incredibly well uh, for my heritage. But uh, these heated grips uh, certainly will be a nice welcomed addition to keeping the, the uh, hands nice and toasty. Now, a lot of guys compare these street glides to the soft tails, and this isn't just CVO, but the street glides in general, or the touring bikes, I, I, I might say the Road Kings, and say that dual shock crushes the soft tail with its single shock, and I wholeheartedly disagree. I have ridden uh, my heritage on long rides. I've taken it on a six hour journey in one day. I've yet to bottom out that single shock in the rear. Uh, it's been incredibly, incredibly comfortable. So, uh, you know, if you're riding two up, I think a uh, touring bike is the right way to go just because, uh, you know, once you start adding stresses to that single shock, you might start, you know, really getting it a little bit. But if you're like me and 98% of your riding is solo riding, uh, that single shock will do absolutely just fine for you. I, I mean it completely. And anybody else that tells you otherwise has not ridden a new model 2018 or newer soft tail. I can say that without a doubt. So, um, you know, my heritage is a great bike. I absolutely love it. Uh, if I could afford uh, something like a CVO like this, uh, you bet your ass I would certainly do it because this is just, this is riding like, like nothing else in my opinion. You know, you could put in all day on this bike. Uh, the seat's super comfortable. Again, CVO, so you're getting, you know, the best of the best with that. I like that you have the gear indicators up here. That's nice also. I do wish Harley would tell you what gear you were in when you had the clutch pulled in. That would be a nice addition to their bike. Uh, these heated grips, they're, they're getting toasty. That's... It's a nice thing to have on a, on a chilly morning, I'll tell you that much. You also get with these with these street glides with this bat wing fairing, you also get a little wind relief from uh, the fairing itself on your hands, which, which is really, really nice.
now I'm back here on my 2018 Heritage. So thank you guys very much. Uh, again, if this is your first time tuning in, please click that subscribe button down below. Remember, likes go a long way to help support the channel, and we will see you next time.